What's up guys, Sam here. Today we are going to learn something interesting. You may have come across the places where the system automatically generates a password for you. If you are looking to create something like that, then this is the lesson you need to watch. Okay, let's get our hands dirty. Before that, if you are new to my channel, you can consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get the instant notification. Okay, now let's create the HTML file and HTML snippet and title. Now I want to create a simple form with the name generator. No action required. Name generator. And I want to create some checkboxes which will be used to decide uh, what are the characters we are going to allow in our passwords. In order to create a checkbox, we need to create an input with the type checkbox. And I'm going to provide the name also, uppercase. You may wonder why I am giving the names to uh, this uh, uh, tags. I'll be explaining it when we write some JavaScript code. Okay. Okay. And now I want this to be checked by default. Okay. We are done. Maybe we can increase this a bit. Okay. That's enough. And a text label to tell what this uh, checkbox really does. Uppercase and break tag. Okay, let's duplicate this set of code. One, two, and three. Let's set all lower case. I'm sorry, this lower case. And this should be numbers and numbers and symbols. Sorry, symbols. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, oh my god. Everything is checked by default. Okay, let's remove this. Let's remove this. Save it and give it a try. Okay, now I'm clicking on this labels. Uh, as you can see, this labels are not responding to me. It's because we didn't uh, bind this label and input box together. In order to do that, we need to add uh, ID to this input element. So let's say uppercase and we need to say hit here inside the for attribute we need to use the same value we have given to this id okay let me do the same for all the other checkboxes too okay now let's give it a shot okay that's fine two more input fields to get the password length and uh, and the number of passwords to be generated okay let's have the default value of 10 and a break here break here and don't forget to give the label finally a button don't forget to give the type as button otherwise it will be considered as submit and don't forget that okay one final thing ul so this is the container which we are going to show all the generated passwords okay let's give it a shot okay okay open up the script tag and first of all uh, let's define the characters we are going to allow in our passwords lowercase numbers finally symbols let's create a function generate password the above variable still uh, what are all the available characters for password but we should allow it only if the corresponding checkboxes are checked so a variable to hold the allowed characters and uh, now let's access the checkboxes and see whether it is checked or not. Here we are going to learn the power of the name property. Okay. If document the name of the form is generator. So just use the name and name of the checkbox is uppercase. To identify whether it is checked or not, you can use the property checked. Okay. 
now what we are going to do is we are going to allow uh, we are going to add that into the allowed characters so uppercase we can do like this or you can do the shorthand like this okay copy this and where case where case numbers numbers symbols symbols now we are ready with the allowed characters our next job is to generate the password give our password uh, equal to empty string and in order to generate the password we need to know the length right so length equals document dot generator dot length dot value okay let's ensure it once length okay and since it returns a string value so we need to convert it to convert that into number let's have a for loop here for var i equal to zero and length i plus plus now we need to generate random number between zero and the length of the allowed characters so that we can pick some random character from that don't worry it's an easy job where random equal to math dot random this will return a random number between zero and one when we multiply it with some number then the given number becomes the maximum range so our maximum range should be allowed dot length right since math dot random returns um, a number with the decimal points let's use math dot floor to round down the number you can even use um, math dot seal or math dot round but i want to have zero as my minimum value so let's stick with math dot floor method now our random number is ready now we need to pick the letter for our password so password plus equal to uh, what is that allowed yeah allowed dot of oh, sorry allowed of random now our password is ready now we need to return that okay we missed one important thing here in form we we are receiving value for number of passwords too right so we need to implement that too we can create a function here git passwords okay let's access this ul in our code right i want to clear its content every time before i uh, generate the passwords so done okay uh, now we need the count right so parse int we know this already document generator i think count dot value it gives the count so for i equal to zero run for count times i plus plus all we need to do is call the generate password this will return the password but we need to show this somewhere right okay for that i am going to create a li create element li and set text content as the created password don't forget to append this that's the important job okay done but wait we didn't call this method yet okay let's call it here one click get passwords okay i think it's time to test our product generate okay wait 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 i have seen that yeah this one floor yeah now let's give it a try generate yeah generate password with a different set, set of inputs and what are you waiting for go on create your own password generator and tell me what are the areas we can improve or do better in the below comment section give it a thumbs up if you like this video also share this with your friends see you in the next video lesson bye bye